this rolling event in 37 national games in Goa. How do you feel yourself uh, being in Goa and being a part of this event? The honor just to be from the state but also be part of India has is incredible. I feel the minute I stepped off the plane I felt so much love, so much support and the guidance from the Goa Olympic Association and the Goa Sports Association and the government of Go from Goa has been so incredibly supportive and has really led the path for me to be as successful as I hope to be. So I'm hoping to make everyone proud. Tell us about the ways you have been practicing yourself uh, to be a part of this event rolling in Goa. Rowing is one of my favorite sports. Um, it's where I feel most happy and there's two types of training you can do. You can do it on the land, which includes a lot of cardio. Um, you might see them in the gym sometimes. They're called erd ma machines. They mimic um, movements on the water. So I train mostly with that. And sometimes I'll go for runs. Um, there's exercises like yoga, exercises, cardio, um, ab exercises, things like that. And then on the water, luckily, we have um, such a beautiful river to row on. I'm able to go on the boat. I'm in a single skull, and I'm, I'm able to go in that and go up and down the course. What are you aiming for in this event? I am aiming for gold <laughs> and to make Goa proud. Um, I would love, my dream, biggest dream is to have more Goans and more Indians on the podium internationally. And I hope myself I could one day make it to the Olympics, either Paris Olympics or the LA 28. How much important does it become for a youth, for a young youth or a young sports person like you to be a part of national games? I went to open ceremony um, yesterday and wow, the support from all the students, um, all the other athletes from all the states in India, coaches, you name it, everyone who attended, even just people who are watching or heard, have heard about the opening ceremony, that support is definitely felt. And um, as an athlete, having that support behind you is probably one of the best feelings I've ever felt. And I was lucky to walk um, around the, the arena and hold the flag. And wow, that was such an honor. Uh, since you are taking, you are uh, representing Goa, which are the other states you feel would be competitor against your state? It's hard to say. I feel like I, I've raced in an uh, Indian national race last summer and the competition was fierce. I, I honestly can't say which state because I think everyone's just growing so much and really it's getting really competitive. So I'm psyched to be out here with all these athletes and I'm excited for whoever wins, but um, I'm definitely looking for that gold. Now, when you talk about rolling and all, you need beaches. Goa is a tourist destination. So it's an added advantage that Goa has this such a beautiful place and with so many beaches. I mean, Goa, wow. Like if you, all the beaches are quite beautiful and coastal rowing, which is a new LA Olympic sport um, that will be held in LA 2028. They, that Olympic sport is coastal rowing. So, which obviously we need coasts and Goa has some of the most, most beautiful, beautiful beaches. So I really hope that we can bring coastal rowing big here and just take off from there and have, again, more Goans on the team for coastal rowing. Another important factor in your life is that uh, you're, you're not only taking part in the sports, but you also represent the Mario Miranda Lidmark family. So how important additional responsibility do you have when you take part in this event? There, uh, my grandfather definitely has some big shoes to fill and I'm not quite sure I can get to that level but I hope and aim every day um, to be as confident, as calm, as respectful and just as hard working as he was and I'm just honored to have um, him looking down and you know just guiding me from wherever he is. What has been the support of your coach in your rolling event? I've been very lucky to be training under Riley Dempier who is one of the head coaches um, at the Olympic Center in Oklahoma, the US Olympic Center in Oklahoma and she has given me so much from guidance, support, um, feedback for my athletics and the mental support, we have workshops, and so there is so much information and guidance that she provides in the program 
um, and the facility as well has been amazing. So I'm just honored and so grateful every day that I can train with her and that team over there and have her support no matter where we are. And her support is my support and of course it's GOA's support. So um, just full with support and love and that's what all that's what anyone can ask for and I love to be a go in and there you go. And that will definitely help you at this national games. Yes, her we've been training twice a day, um, every day except for Sunday and that has been the most valuable uh, lessons and uh, hours to train with. So I'm definitely taking all those lessons and bringing them here. And not only am I using them, I'm hoping to share them with Goa and the rest of the athletes. If tomorrow, if you want to be a part of any bigger event, would it be representing India at the Asian Olympics? What it is? For me personally, I would. This is such an amazing start. Um, this is one of my second biggest races here, and what an honor for it to be in Goa, my home state. But I'm hoping to go on to senior nationals and then hopefully qualify for Paris. Representing Goa. Rep representing, India. representing Goa of always and uh, representing India on the international scale. And how, how do you feel being in Goa, especially back to your roots? I'm loving it. I can tell you I, I, I've never felt so honored and so um, grateful to be here. And from here, I cannot be more proud to be going. Uh, Ma'am, how big uh, opportunity is this for your daughter to especially uh, be a part of the 37th National Games in Goa and especially when you took uh, talk about your roots, bringing back to Goa, especially of the Mario Miranda family. It's amazing. I was married almost 30 years ago to Mario's older son and Gail was born here in Bambalim. And so, you know, she's the daughter of the soil and she's really hoping to take the gold from a Goan beach. She's, you know, always kept her Indian passport because Mario cherished his passport. He gave his sons his passport. And now we're, I'm so proud, even as an American mom, that she made the right choice to have a passport that matches her heart. Thank you.